Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 35 of a Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We've got a nice big bumper pile of Blackstone. We've got ourselves a new Tech Priest at the end of the last episode. So let's get in there and start upgrading him. So what's his name? Ortisius. Ortisius. Cool beans. So, let's get going. Definitely want to get the Cognition Freedom on. So I always recommend you definitely get the Cognition Freedom on every guy. And everyone that's going to shoot, you want this one for the extra range. For your ranged weapons. I think we'll also get the Zealous Metals, which will heal us one at the beginning of every turn. Sort of left. Oh, we've got loads. We've got loads we can do here. So what path should we take this guy down? What should we do? What should we do? That's just scanners and stuff. That's all the troop um, perks. I think we will actually get the troop boosty servo skull. I think we've only got one guy that can do that at the moment. We're a bit limited with, with what we can do with our troops there. So let's think, what else could we make use of? We might go down to this one and get the um, avoiding opportunity attacks. So that's quite a handy one. Start getting a bit of armour as well. Should we go with that one? Yeah, that gives us the most HP and a little bit of armour. So let's just equip that before we do anything else. Keep going, get the avoided opportunity attacks. Now we want to get some more armour now. We don't want to keep buying the little perks, so we've already got a chest piece. So let's see what else we can get. 2 HP, 1 physical armour, 2 HP, 3 movement. This is 1 physical damage. That's some energy armour. HP but only one movement. 4 HP. That's not bad on the gauntlets. Let's see what else we can get. 2 HP and 2 movement. 2 energy armor. But no HP. Oh, there we go. 3 HP and 3 movement. So these Dominus leg augments, we need to give some more guys these legs. So where are they from? They were from this tree here. So I've got to remember that for some of my other guys. I want to get those legs on some other guys. Give them a little bit more movement. So I've only got 406 blackstone left. So we can't get an upgrade of anyone else. So we may as well keep pushing through with this guy. I'd like to get him a little bit more armor still. What have we got? We've just got chest and legs. Got one physical armor already. Where's the other helmet? Yeah, I think we'll go for this helmet here. The head augment gives us a little bit of HP and a little bit of energy armor. Of course, that's all the upgrades we can get. I've also got all these augment slots to populate. So let's make sure we start with the bare essentials, get an axe and a gun on him. Now, we can't go straight in for the big stuff. We don't want to use all our augment slots. So let's have a look at this one. Two augment slots does three to five. Two augment slots does four to six. Machine of Spirit Charge is better on this one. So I think I'll go with that. This Machine of Spirit destroys armor. Whereas that one just immobilizes the target. We don't want that. Uh, so let's get the little blast pistol on that for a freebie. We've got four left. So we're going to have to get a cheapish gun. So that's only two. That's only two. Interesting. I don't think we've got anyone with the arc rifle yet. So I think we'll go with that. Just to get an arc rifle. I've only got two slots left. Do we spend them both on Coratio? Or do we get a cheap Coratio? Something else. Now let's get... Let's give him the best ability to heal himself. I mean, all our other units got some kind of healing on them as well, so we should be alright. It's only going to take us a mission or two, and this guy will be even more upgraded. So, looking at the mission deployment on the left here, not only do we not have any heretic missions left, because obviously we've killed Epsilon's Damakyoff, but Kepra here. 
is no longer giving us any missions. So that shows that we're starting to work towards the end now. Even though we're only on 58% of the Awakening, we're still getting a little bit closer to the end of the content. So what do you want to do next? I'm pretty sure we're going to do this one next with the extra troop deployment. Let's just have a look what these are going to give us. Uh, I want to get the um, I want to get the extra troop deployment. So it's a normal one. So this might be a little easy. We might fly through it. Let's see. We've got Praetorians, Death Marks, Can Frights, and Necron Warriors. I'm going to the Agrolex sector. So this is looking nice now. We'll get more people out. Get all six of our tech priests. Awesome. Go for that level three. That level three. And let's get this Catafron Battle Servitor in, just for kicks. And I think we're also going to have to take our Castellan out at some point, because he's a level three. In fact, let's do that. Let's take the Castellan out, since so it's a level three. So what's his perks? He's got a melee attack that does two to five. He's got a buff to his physical and energy armor. He can charge. He's got flamer. Yeah, should be quite interesting. Lots of immolation potential. Memories of the Void. So we got one diamond encounter here, one up here. Just for two? It is, but we do have three optional encounters. It's quite interesting, I don't think I've ever seen that on the team. Okay, so where are we going to go? So we go left and up. Yeah, left and up is going to be quicker. Let's work up to this room and then we'll plot the rest of our route from there. Many female ports cover the outer shell of this Necron panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. Now, in this situation, you'd normally want to go for the green one, so it's a guaranteed win. But I'd like to try and reveal what the ones that are neither green or red. See whether they're good or bad. There you go, so that's a good one. Many female ports cover the outer shell of its net one port. Perhaps interfacing can improve the team's performance. So, okie dokes, we've got a bit of extra health that we didn't need. Let's get in there. Okay, kill all enemies. Let's have a little look. Glowy door here. A warrior and a Praetorian. Can fright. Another one there. Warrior. Oh, and I've got two more over here. Praetorian and Death Mark. One cognition, scan terminal, cognition, cognition. So I've only got three cognition points, and I've only given out one. So we're going to be a little bit rough on the cognition here. Okay, let's start pushing our guys up a little bit. Let's leave a bit of gap. Well, isn't that nice seeing six of them now? Hey! I'm pretty sure we did this layout last episode. Definitely need to bring some more tomb layouts into this. So you don't get a repeated one on a playthrough. I didn't even pay attention to what armor he had. 
Oh, I'll shoot him again. There we go, physical. That's good. Okay, so I've got no cognition to do anything else yet. Can I get as close to him? No, it can't. I kind of open back, he gets close to him, we can poke him. And get a little bit more out that way. But nay. I'd also love to put the bubble up right now. I've only got the wands, so I really... Um, no, I'm not going to do that yet. So hopefully, you should be able to kill him. Is this on you guys? This Ortisius. Is this Ortisius? Hey, he's already got a kill under his belt. Good lad. Now he hasn't got a pokey stick or anything like that. It's a current attack. Can I even see any of these? Cool, that's got range on it as well. Can't see him, can't see him. I can get that one up there. Okay. So let's use a cognition freedom. Have a little zap at this guy. I say, I do like the range on that gun. Hey, get some cognition. Nom nom nom. Oh, can he? No, he can't avoid opportunity attacks. So let's just slice and dice. Let's get a little poke of that as well, just for good measure. You never know. Now, is there still one. Yeah, there is still one cognition turn over here. Get every scrap of it we can at the moment. Oh, the Epicurean's coming to play. Now, how did he see through those two to hit that one? Interesting angle. Okay, so whilst we're here. Get a quick shot in on this guy. What's he got? Well, there's not left much left on him. I reckon we could get him. Four. Bit pathetic. This should hopefully do one. Yeah. This one can avoid opportunity attacks, so that's pretty cool. Just trying to see where I can get eyes on this spider here. If I go there, it's going to block the path. We're starting to get some cognition built up, aren't we? So let's just push forward a tad there. In fact, we're going to push forward and use a cognition. Let's use it to the full extent. Let's get up here. At least you got to deal a bit of damage there. Where are you going to, Death Mark? Okay, so this guy's only got one left on him. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, don't be hasty. Give him a poke first, Mark. There we go. Cool. Right. Um, I want to burn these guys. Is 
seven. What's that deal? Three to five, yeah, let's definitely put that on there. Might be able to get this spot here in that pit. Nope, but I'm sure it messed him up a bit. So this should hopefully do him. There we go. Cool, I had a little wiggle glitch out there. Shall we get... Alright, we're going to take a hit from this um, death mark, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. got two energy armor it's not going to do much is it? Oh, let's just do it anyway we're going to deal some knock on damage to the death mark as well it's all in all that's not a bad result hmm do we push to the scan point no, I think we're going to chill there um yeah, it's healing because he could get attacked by both of these two and the death mark. Better safe than sorry. I think we lost Minaris last round, last battle. I don't want to lose this one. Alright, so whilst his body's still here, and we've got a pokey stick, let's take advantage of that. Is that dealing damage? No. I'm just trying to find the cheapest way of clearing that body, but this guy can't. Got a couple of guns here. Let's get close. Not too close. Can bypass his armour, which is cool. Whoa, nearly done him. Should only be left on one. There he is, one. Ah, that's cool. Um, well, I guess we may as well finish him off. That would be rude not to, wouldn't it? My free cognition points. I need no, let's not, let's not. Um, I said I was gonna get Castellan in, but if I get my Vanguard in, I should be able to deal with this death mark. Still dispatouring down here. Which I'm pretty sure is going to fly away sometime in this turn. So I don't really want to push my guys back down towards him. Um, but I might not have much of a choice really. So I've got, to, I've got to kill all enemies. I don't want to just keep waiting around for him to jump towards me. I bet he's going to fly away now. Okay, so he's overwatched by the death mark there. Well, now I said I'd get the vanguard in to sort out this death mark, but this tech priest has eyes on. He's within range. I hope he doesn't have eyes on. He does from here, okay. Situation recovered. There you go, that's better. You can smash him up from there. Uh, I'm going to keep this chat there though, save my cognition. So he can get a bit of cheap clearance on his body. Am I right in thinking this one has energy armor? 
grabs that dude. So probably, yeah, well that doesn't cost me, it's only going to do one. Um, hmm. That gun hurt my guy. Well, let's just get in it for some melee then. Core, cool. nine. I think he's down to one. Yes. That's pretty cool. There you go, he's buggered off anyway. Trying to cause some havoc with his last breath there. Okay, it's a vanguard guy. What I had you in for? Are you in fact, no? Death Mark's still here. We can still shoot him. There we go. Mission accomplished on that one. This is our second round. Here we go. Is that it? Where's. The la oh, he's there. The last enemy. Okay. That's confused me a bit there. Let's we'll see if we can get to the scan terminal. I'm going to delay his turn. These Benaris here come and try and blow this terminal up. Not like we're doing bad on the Awakening, but if we can knock it down, we can knock it down. And obviously, a bit of bonus Blackstone. Never had any of Come back. Sweet. Now, can he get in there and get eyes on this guy? He certainly can. Oh, he's only left on one, isn't he? Let's get in here and then just give him a shot. There you go, room one down. An intrusively high level of background data is present in the local new sphere in this part of the tomb, corrupting sensor data and interfering with comms. If left unaddressed, the Xenos originated junk data could hamper the cohort's combat effectiveness. Oh dear. Resourcefulness. Create a data burst in the new sphere to counter out the Xenos data. Ruthlessness. Flood the new sphere with masses of junk data to overload whatever is creating the Necron transmissions. Or resilience. Soldier on through the adverse conditions. Faith in the Omnisai will overcome this obstacle as all others. Hmm. I like to try and be resourceful. Prefer to rely on science rather than faith. If possible. The clashing data forms cancel each other out, clearing the new sphere of Necron influence for now. Cohort takes courage from the fact that application of tech law defeats alien cunning. Oh yes. However, the awakening has increased by three. We're going to start continuing to head up towards this one here. We might have to do one of these options. This chamber appears to be an annex to the main repository of Agrolex military discourses. Several data medium slabs lie in racks on the walls, as if this was a form of data library. Images of Lord Acrylic and his fleets adorn the walls. Procure. Loot all the data medium slabs the cohort can, and be quick about it. Peruse. Check the chamber for traps or alarms before taking the data medium. Purge. Cleanse the chamber of its Xenos influence with prayer and ritual before looting it. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go for the peruse option. It's always wise to try and have a little check out for booby traps. The cohort begins to thoroughly survey the chamber for defensive devices. However, intrusive thoughts of destruction and death on a cosmic scale demonstrate that contact with the data medium is too dangerous to be undertaken. Boo. Necron initiative has also increased.
Many female ports cover the outer shell of this Necron panel. Perhaps interfacing could improve the team's performance. We've got two green ones here. It's really unlikely that that's going to be a green one as well. So let's grab one of these. And we've got free cognition. Now, we're on Awakening of 2. I think you get two bars for every room you move forward. So if we go to that one, and then that one, and then into there, we're going to be on a free before we've even started that combat. So I think for this episode, we're going to take on an optional encounter. Try and knock our awakening down a bit. Nice view here. Good bit of wall. Alrighty then. We got can fright here. Praetorian. Two cognition. Death mark can fright. Scan terminal. One cognition. Two one cognitions. Warrior, warrior, warrior. Praetorian. And we've got glowy doors as well, so we're probably going to have a fair few extra units come join in on the party. So definitely want to send a couple of guys up this way. So who's got a bit of help? And Tau. In fact, no, Minaris will go a different way. Let's put him down here for now. Yeah, send a new guy up there, Autisius. And then we're going to want someone to start whomping through all of these. So I think that's going to be Minarius. So hopefully this flame attack can start getting more than one at a time. And then we'll have Leonardus and Oriochus. Um, yeah, let's send them this way so we've got that can fry. Our Praetorian's probably going to fly off somewhere to be honest. So I might take two guys this way. Only one guy that way. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to go. Oh, we've still got trick units to use as well, though. Let's do that. Now, let's see. Oh, in fact, this isn't going to work, really. So, if I put this guy down, he takes up four squares. So, I think we're not going to be able to move him past that block. We won't be able to move him past here. We're not going to be able to move him past here. So, you're going to be pretty useless in this room. Which is a bit of a bugger. So let's get Vanguard guy in. Let's put him up here so he's a little bit amongst the crowd. There you go, Torin's already flying about. Interesting spot though. I'd normally coming for some combat. He's come to us. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, poor Manaris is already a bit messed up. Turn soon. There we go. Right, Leonardo Sahila, let's give everyone a little bit of top up first. There you go. Everyone needed a little bit there. Alright. Give some cognition. Start bashing this bug into oblivion. ourselves we're gonna get acids attacked again right we've got two cognition points here we can only collect one with this servo skull there we go couple of single terminals here okay 
I would like to have a go about death mark, but I'm locked in melee combat with Victorian here. Troop unit buff. There we go. And that's that for him. Has he got eyes on? He has got eyes on. I think I'm not going to muck about. I'm going to hit him with the big gun. With hopes of blasting him to oblivion. Oh. Yeah, there you got him. He's down. Yes. Alright, let's go and clear that body, get back cognition. Right, now we put the energy enhancers on, so we want to make good use of our second shot. Second shot, second gun. So let's get him in there as well. Once again, this Praetorian is probably going to fly off. So let's get what attacks we can get on him whilst he's here. And obviously, one good poke. Let's get him poked up. So no, it's not going to do anything, is it? Vanguard guy. I just want you to start popping away at these chaps, really. Moving down a little bit, but it's going to get a bit chocker blocker here. Especially as Monaris is going to get on the case. Right, let's get that powerful generator on. Get the extra damage. So let's be tactical. So I'm going to not use my cognition freedom on the flamer. So I actually want to use some cognition points to be with full. So that's killed that one at the back. So is this going to get both of them? No. He's only got one HP left there, so let's give him a little poke with that. Just killed him. And we still can't shoot a back guy. Um, okay, so... Let's chop him out of the way. I'm going to push forward. Because we did save our cognition freedom. And we can use this gun here for pretty cheap. I've got nothing else I can attack this Praetorian with before he flies away. I uh, only need one cognition, so I'm not going to bother doing anything else there. Right, what have we still got left to attack? Oh, we've got to go up this way, haven't we? Get the scan terminal. Totally forgot about that. Right, attack as well. Get all our cognition back, thanking you. Oh, 
good for troop units. Most difficult. Bye bye. Bye bye. Was nearly dead as well. Let's help on the Nowis out here. Oh, maybe not. Let's help on the Nowis out here. That's more like it. You can just chill there. In fact, no, you can't cleanse anyone. Can avoid opportunity attacks. Brilliant. Um, there we go. Only got one HP. So that's a good night to him. So now I think we are only dealing with this one over here. I actually want to try and have a pop at this terminal. The enemy's dead, that's it. So I'm gonna try and knock this terminal out first. There we go. Have it. Xenos life forms purged. Got some black stone. My castling's healed. Didn't need it. Our awakening's reduced by four. This is kind of what we're after. So let's get towards this last room. A single port designed for a Necron Canoptic creature extrudes from the device. <laughs> What's going on with this Castellan? He keeps on getting healed. He's not even put boots on the floor yet. Let's see if we can get him out in this ring though. So there's a bit of movement potential for him. Scanner destroy. So that's a turret. Can fright. Can Fright, Praetorian, Deathmark, Praetorian, Warrior. Oh, and the terminal we need to scan or destroy is at polar opposite end of the map. We've got a triple cognition terminal here and a double here. We've got a platform that's a little bit not required. So let's split some of the guys up. Oh, yeah, and our Castellan. Oh, we can get our Castellan all up through here. Let's let's get him in. Um, got to think about this because I don't want to block the path. There we go, it's a free path for everyone to get through there. Cool, so it's quite expensive to deploy this chap, but we'll see how worthwhile it is. But this guy's got pants moving, he can hardly go anywhere. Push him up. So obviously this route, Castle is not going to be able to go down. There's like a single path there. So he's going to have to go up the right hand side. Um, 
Oh, oh, hold on. Gotta think about this. If I stop here, I'm gonna be in front of that turret. If I go anywhere like that, I'm gonna get opportunity. So I'm actually just gonna sit here. Let's get the bubble on. Don't want the acid attack. Tis, yes, yeah, you can come and hide in the bubble as well, mate. He's a little bit weak still. One to two, one to eight. Let's gamble on hoping this Arthur is going to do the business. Yeah, there we go. Dissolved him. Castling a bit of a boost. Oh, cheeky. He stole my cognition. Beavis Castle, I didn't realise. There's one like 20. Has he got eyes on? No, slight block. If he moves into range, he's going to get popped, isn't he? So if you're going to do it, do it proper. Go for the big gun, try and clear him. Much a nice clear path now. Up to that next next enemy unit. Um, no, it's not here just yet. Okay, can he? Yeah, he can get some movement here. Whoa, ground shudders and everything. Right, where's the charge? Then charge in a straight line. No, it's not going to get anyone. Just have to kill there then. Um, yeah, just leave him there. Uh, we've got Oriochus, he can boost as well. Can he boost him? Yes. So next turn at Castling's going to be able to move a little bit further at least. Physical damage in on him. Doesn't matter whether he's in melee range still or not, she's just gonna fly away anyway. Might. If we're lucky, do the business of this. Oh no, it's equal to three. It's definitely not gonna do the business, is it? Gosh, she left the castle in here. It would have got more action. My turf, bitches. Burn. I can't remember whether this does damage to allies or not. No, it doesn't. Wunderbar. Let's make it cheaper with our cognition freedom. some cog out of it. I think our axe is going to do the business. Yep. He did. Okay, so he's still got a bit of movement on him. Got to get up to there, isn't it? 
Let's just push him all the way. Oh, hold on. Realised I was about to plunk him in front of one of those turrets there. You don't want to be stood in front of one of them. Um, right, cognition. Yeah, might as well get this two here. Stay tucked up. Do it. This is town, isn't it? I think. Yeah. You can technically just keep pushing. We're good for cognition, so I'm just going to push him all the way in. Because our objective is to scan or destroy, but I'm pretty sure it will now say kill all enemies. Then. Let's get some cognition back to start with. The terminal's got a fair bit of HP on it. energy armor. That's alright, we've got loads of cognition, so let's just start throwing stuff at him. Collect one. We've got one somewhere, no we haven't. Got a bit of a battering. Oh, he's about to go. So let's make sure that everyone's all topped up before the end. Poor Castlin didn't even get to do anything. He just moved. Pretty sure this is his last unit, isn't it? All dead. Yeah. No? He's still alive. Ah, there's this one here that stood in the middle of nowhere. In plain sight. What a plonker. Oh, he's in range of the arc rifle from here. Two energy armor. So we could potentially not do much damage here. I've got four. That's not doing anything, though, is it? That's a little annoying. I thought I was on the last enemy. I topped everyone up. This one's going to need a little bit of healing. We could possibly get our castle in action. Let's get to him. Spread on that. Yay, we got to shoot something with a castle on. Worked out alright in the end there, really, didn't it? Mission complete. The repository of Agrilex military records has walls covered with thousands of slabs of data medium, each a volume of its history of conquest and war. 
The cohort take what they can and labour servitors are sent in to harvest for rest. So yeah, we lost a bit of Blackstone on this guy. A bit of an oversight on my part there, but it's only 30. It's not the end of the world. Finished with a 2 on the Awakenings. That's pretty cool. That'll put us up to 60. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Blackstone's all added up now. Oh, is that a... Got a power field generator. I'll have to put that on one day. Not just yet, though. So that's a bit result. Quite enjoyed that one. We've got an extra troop deployment slot now, so we can get even more units out there. Now we have our fully complete cohort. Oh yeah. I'm really liking that. How how many have we got on level three? Just out of interest. Only a level two servitor. Only level one on the Ranger Alpha. We don't really use them. Level three. So yeah, it's all the ones that we've been using. We got level three on the ones we don't really use. We haven't. Also, we've got this battle servitor as well. So we've got a nice little bit of blackstone there. Not a whole load, but it's all going to be going on Ortisius, I think his name is. Yep, Ortisius. So upgrades are pretty cheap still at the moment for him. So we should still be able to get three, maybe four out of him next episode. Well, there we have it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leaving some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.